Hey guys, it's Alex. Welcome back to the 12th part of my series called um, Airbnb V2.0, where we basically try and recreate the Airbnb website. Um, what we're going to be doing in this episode is we're going to be doing minor changes um, because you can see here that they've updated their moto, not a problem at all. But then one thing that I really... Um, want to fix is when we started off the tutorials i mean the series um this navigation menu was the same as this one but now they changed it and um you know when when we scroll down it, it gets hover i mean it gets um activated so we're gonna change that um it's really simple to do so let's start off with the moto actually so i'm just gonna go ahead and copy this let me move my text editor here. By the way, I'm using Adam. You can download it at adam.io because I get uh, this question on uh, like literally every video um, on what text editor I use. So we're gonna wrap around Airbnb in a span. Span, no, not spam. Uh, come on. Come on, span. There we go. Let's see. We're gonna add breaks after and we're gonna add a break. I can't see from my microphone what I'm typing. Okay, let's refresh and there we go. Yeah, that that looks pretty much uh, the same. Um, I think here there's a little bit of like it's not really the effect that we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a border of uh, two pixels and I think that looks better okay and now what we're gonna do um, is fix the navigation menu so this is gonna be a short tutorial hopefully um, and then in the next tutorials we're gonna be creating basically you know these menus and then we have the footer and we're basically done all right so let's continue with uh, the navigation menu. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna navigate to top nav, okay, and then we're gonna say, well, first I need to know, you know, the first thing we see is that there is no search menu here, uh, and it gets toggled when, it, when we scroll down. So uh, let me just find what ID it is. So it is nav search. Okay, nav search. Um, okay, nav search wrapper is it? What the hell? Um, yeah, nav search wrapper. Okay, so we're basically gonna say um, display. Oh, sorry, my cat just stepped on my computer. We're gonna say display none. Okay, but then when we go to top nav uh, dot active nav search wrapper we're gonna say display inline block oops uh let's well i mean it works but i'm gonna clear the cache anyways okay now when we scroll down we get that uh effect okay um but then the other thing is that there is no border here so i think we're gonna have to remove the borders as well as you can see, yeah, okay, so, um, we are on the borders here. Um, is this for the logo? Logo link, uh, top nav. Okay, so we're gonna say, I'm just gonna copy this basically, and then we're gonna say, we're gonna add it here. So now the border bottom is fixed. Okay, and then the only thing we need uh, to fix is this, and also the logo. But we know, you know what? We're not we're not gonna be messing with this logo, and we might remove this hover effect. But let's see border right where it is. I don't see it. And oh, there we go. And then we're gonna say top nav dot active, then logo image. Uh, like this okay yeah that's pretty much what we wanted uh, okay yep yeah. um and then let's finally remove you know the hover effect 
So we're basically going to be removing this. Yeah. Okay. And let's see how it looks here. Pretty similar. Um, one thing that I also see is this drop shadow. So I'm going to click on inspect and see if we can find it exactly. Um, transparency. What is this? No, I don't want the input. I want the whole class of the navigation. Uh, let me just click main shift C and kind of find it like this. Come on. Is it like a little really separated into many parts? Isn't it isn't it one big like navigation? I mean div. Okay, there we go. Header. Um I'm really looking for box shadow, but I don't see anything. Yeah. I don't see any box shadow. Let's try here. Okay, there we go. We found a little box shadow. I'm gonna copy this. Then I'm gonna also open this is browser text support.txt, not the email that I got that I sent like a hundred times. Uh, but yeah, so box shadow uh, webkit and moss. Let's go to the active where stop not active. Okay, there we go. Oops. Box shadow. Let's see if it's actually this. It is. Okay, nice. Um epic. But there is no border, I think. I don't think there is a border actually. Or or maybe there is. I don't know. Let's try and remove the border and see. Um Oh, let me charge my laptop. I don't know. I think there is. I think there is. Oh, no, there isn't. There isn't, actually. Okay. Um, okay, and let's just add WebKit. WebKit. Well, actually, let me just copy this whole thing. Nope. Like this. And then Moz. And we're pretty much done. Um, uh, let me just check again. I uh, know actually I do think there is a border. So I'm gonna co copy this whole thing. Oops. Nope. And then kind of like this and there we go. Oh God. Um, let's try E E E. Yeah, I think that's, that's it. Yep. Okay. So, uh, the border is E E E here. So I'm gonna find uh, that as well uh, CC soon there we go let's change that to e e e hey okay well we're pretty much done this is it for this tutorial um it's a really short tutorial but I'm gonna record a whole bunch right now and I'm gonna schedule them throughout you know the coming weeks uh, but yeah, so that's been it for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.